inverse trigonometric functions. Introduction. In this chapter, we shall study about the restrictions on domains and ranges of trigonometric functions which ensure the existence of their inverses and observe their behavior through graphical representations. Besides, some elementary properties will also be discussed. The trigonometric functions are defined as follows. Sine function, that is, since r tends to minus 1, 1. Cosine function, that is, cos r tends to minus 1, 1. Tangent function, that is, tan r minus x is to x equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 n belongs to z tends to r. Cotangent function that is cot r minus x is to x equal to n pi comma n belongs to z tends to r. Secant function that is secant r minus x is to x equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 comma n belongs to z tends to r minus minus 1 comma 1. Cosecant function that is cosecant r minus x is to x equal to n pi comma n belongs to z tends to r minus of minus 1 comma 1. If f from x to y such that f of x is equal to y is 1 to 1 and on to then we can define a unique function g from y to x such that g of y is equal to x where small x belongs to capital X and y is equal to f of x comma y belongs to capital Y. Here the domain of g is equal to range of f and the range of g is equal to domain of f. The function g is called the inverse of f and is denoted by f inverse. Further g is also 1 to 1 and on to and inverse of g is f. Thus g inverse is equal to f inverse the whole inverse is equal to f. We also have f inverse of f of x is equal to f inverse into f of x the whole is equal to f inverse of y is equal to x and f of f inverse of y is equal to f of f inverse of y the whole is equal to f of x is equal to y. Since the domain of sine function is the set of all real numbers and range is the closed interval minus 1 comma 1. If we restrict its domain to minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 then it becomes 1 to 1 and on 2 with range minus 1 comma 1. Actually since function restricted to any of the intervals minus 3 pi by 2 comma minus pi by 2 minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 pi by 2 comma 3 pi by 2 etc is 1 to 1 and its range is minus 1 comma 1. We can therefore define the inverse of sine function in each of these intervals. We denote the inverse of sine function by sine inverse of arc sine function. Thus sine inverse is a function whose domain is minus 1 comma 1 and Range could be any of the intervals minus 3 pi by 2 comma minus pi by 2 minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 or pi by 2 comma 3 pi by 2 and so on. Corresponding to each such interval we get a branch of the function sine inverse. The branch with range minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 is called the principal value branch whereas other intervals as range give different branches of sine inverse. When we refer to the function sine inverse, we take it as the function whose domain is minus 1 comma 1 and range is minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. We write sine inverse from minus 1 comma 1 to minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. From the definition of the inverse functions, it follows that sine of sine inverse x is equal to x if minus 1 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1 and sine inverse of sine x is equal to x if minus pi by 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to pi by 2. 
In other words, if y is equal to sin inverse x, then sin y is equal to x. The following table gives the inverse trigonometric functions, that is the principal value branches, along with their domains and ranges. properties of inverse trigonometric function. In this section, we shall prove some important properties of inverse trigonometric functions. It may be mentioned here that these results are valid within the principal value branches of the corresponding inverse trigonometric functions and wherever they are defined. Some results may not be valid for all values of domains of inverse trigonometric functions. In fact, they will be valid only for some values of x for which inverse trigonometric functions are defined. Let us recall that if y is equal to sine inverse x, then x is equal to sine y. And if x is equal to sine y, then y is equal to sine inverse x. This is equivalent to sine into sine inverse x is equal to x comma x belongs to minus 1 comma 1 and sine inverse into sine x is equal to x comma x belongs to minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. The same is true for other five inverse trigonometric functions as well. We now prove some properties of inverse trigonometric function. Properties 1. Sine inverse 1 by x equal to cosecant inverse x, x greater than or equal to 1 or x lesser than or equal to minus 1. 2. Cos inverse 1 by x equal to secant inverse x, x greater than or equal to 1 or x lesser than or equal to minus 1. 3. Tan inverse 1 by x equal to cot inverse x x greater than 0. To prove the first result, we put cosecant inverse x equal to y, that is x equal to cosecant y. Therefore, 1 by x equal to sin y. Hence, sin inverse 1 by x equal to y or sin inverse 1 by x equal to cosecant inverse x. Similarly, we can prove the other parts. Example, show that tan inverse of 1 by 2 plus tan inverse of 2 by 11 is equal to tan inverse of 3 by 4. Solution By property 5 subdivision 1, we have LHS is equal to tan inverse of 1 by 2 plus tan inverse of 2 by 11 is equal to tan inverse of 1 by 2 plus 2 by 11 by 1 minus 1 by 2 into 2 by 11 is equal to tan inverse of 15 by 20 is equal to tan inverse of 3 by 4 is equal to RHS. Hence proved. Find the value of sin inverse of sin 3 pi by 5. Solution. We know that sin inverse of sin x is equal to x. Therefore, sin inverse of sin 3 pi by 5 is equal to 3 pi by 5. But, 3 pi by 5 does not belongs to minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 which is the principal branch of sin inverse x. However, sin of 3 pi by 5 is equal to sin of pi minus 3 pi by 5 into sin 2 pi by 5 and 2 pi by 5 does not belongs to minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. Therefore, sin inverse of sin 3 pi by 5 is equal to sin inverse of sin 2 pi by 5 is equal to 2 pi by 5. Example, solve tan inverse 2x plus tan inverse 3x equal to pi by 4. Solution, we have tan inverse 2x plus tan inverse 3x equal to pi by 4 or tan inverse 2x plus 3x by 1 minus 2x into 3x equal to pi by 4. That is, tan inverse 5x by 1 minus 6x square equal to 
pi by 4. Therefore, 5x by 1 minus 6x square equal to tan pi by 4 equal to 1 or 6x square plus 5x minus 1 equal to 0 that is 6x minus 1 into x plus 1 equal to 0 which gives x equal to 1 by 6 or x equal to minus 1. Since x equal to minus 1 does not satisfy the equation as the LHS of the equation becomes negative. x equal to 1 by 6 is the only solution of the given equation. Properties 1. Sin inverse 1 by x equal to cosecant inverse x x greater than or equal to 1 or x lesser than or equal to minus 1. 2. Cos inverse 1 by x equal to secant inverse x x greater than or equal to 1 or x lesser than or equal to minus 1. 3. Tan inverse 1 by x equal to cot inverse x x greater than 0. To prove the first result, we put cosecant inverse x equal to y that is x equal to cosecant y. Therefore, 1 by x equal to sin y. Hence, sin inverse 1 by x equal to y or sin inverse 1 by x cosecant inverse x. Similarly, we can prove the other parts.